Hello, in this video we will be discussing about the use of uh, machine learning algorithms for the prediction of coronary heart disease in short CHD. So before we start the, the, the machine learning algorithms we will have some basic idea about the coronary heart disease. So coronary heart disease is considered as the leading cause of uh, death and it is due to the buildup of plaques or certain uh, wax type substances on the inner surface of the coronary arteries and it may lead to the blockage of the blood flow. CHD may not produce any noticeable or as symptoms uh, but in most of the cases it triggers the heart attack or sudden cardiac death and uh, the early diagnosis of CHD is very important because the delayed diagnosis may lead to cardiac attack or cardiac failure. Main purpose of this project is to build a model using machine learning algorithms to predict the probability or the chance of CHD using previously archived patient data. In this paper, four machine learning algorithms, namely logistic regression, CART, uh, random forest, gradient boost, adapt boost, etc., are used uh, in order to predict the CHD. Performance of these algorithms are evaluated based on accuracy, recall, precision and F1 score. Uh, out of the four algorithms implemented, gradient boosting algorithm achieved the highest accuracy of 72% with a recall of 50%. So we will discuss about the, the whole, uh, the, propo the, the proposed uh, model. So here uh, our input is like you know the SA Heart database, which is uh, an open source uh, database, which is you can uh, it is uh, available from the UCI repository. And uh, the first job is the data re you know pre-processing. And uh, normally pre-processing is something, but we'll look for any missing values or uh, uh, values which are beyond the uh, the standard uh, limits of the plus three, three sigma minus three sigma. It's also called, you know, the this the data which is beyond this limits normally called as the outliers. So we want just want to check the outliers, and if you want to check any missing data, uh, in uh, such type of processing normally called as the data pre-processing. Now once you have done that, then um, as a beginning, uh, we just to try to split the data set into uh, the uh, training set and uh, test set. Training set normally used to uh, train the uh, the model and uh, the test data that is used to test the performance. So it's a normal uh, uh, or the, 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 the common method that you know the whole available data set is, is, is you know split into 70% of the train set and 30% of the test data. Now uh, the next thing is the, the how to train the model. So here in this particular uh, proposal um, we have uh, implemented uh, the following algorithms. No, no, one of such algorithms is called the logistic regression and it is used for the classification problem. Other algorithm is called CART which is also called CART. Then uh, random forest and the ensemble techniques. So the first we have to uh, you know do the uh, algorithm one by one and we have to train the system by the using the 70% of the train set followed by you know the test data by 30 percentage and uh, we'll try to evaluate the performance then we'll move on to the next uh, uh, model which is like a cart then a random forest and ensemble techniques then finally we'll see the performance of these uh, you know different algorithms based on the accuracy score precision recall and f1 score so now uh, this particular uh, table which shows the uh, different type of uh, the features that is used for um, the CHD analysis. So here we have the main uh, attributes or the parameters that is for the analysis of the data which are systolic blood pressure in uh, mm of HG, tobacco whether it's using tobacco or not. This is also called cumulative tobacco. Then uh, we'll also look at the L L LDL cholesterol which is called the low density lipoprotein cholesterol and uh, there is also another feature called the adiposity a condition of being severely overweight and normally it is calculated by the equation 100 into the, the circumference of the hip divided by height to the power 1, 1. 1.5 uh, 
adiposity then the family history if uh, the person having any family history like father mother uh, etc then uh, also talking about the type a which is comprised of the impatience achievement striving the con competitiveness and the hostility so these are the some of the other features obesity is independent of risk factor um, alcohol whether uh, the person is consuming alcohol or not then also looking at the age and the uh, the chd which is uh, the the target columns already uh, uh, you know available in the uh, given data set so this is our target target part so this particular uh, problem is like a classification problem because already the database consisting of you know one particular column and that column already uh, you know uh, tell us tell us whether the person is uh, you know belongs to chd or not or is chd patient or not so by learning the system we are going to use the uh, train set to learn the system then after that we are going to test this system using the test data then we will compare the uh, obtained results or the prediction uh, to the uh, what you call the uh, the target values so that then from this you know we will be able to calculate the or you will to evaluate the uh, accuracy score so basically we have using the uh, following uh, measurement uh, the uh, performance measures accuracy that can be calculated by tp tp plus tn divided by n where tp stands for the true positive and true negative precision is tp divided by tp plus fp uh, recall is tp divided by tp plus fn tp stands for true positive and fn stands for false negative f measures of the fn score 2 into pr divided by p plus r where p is the precision r is the recall so these are the different measures that is used for evaluating the performance of uh, the algorithms the main algorithm that we have used in this uh, method i mean in this particular paper is logistic regression knn the uh, the k nearest numbers decision tree or cart uh, decision tree uh, that is also called for classification regression tree then the random forest okay now this is the obtained results the performance of the algorithm so you can see that this is the model uh, then tp stands for two positive two positive means what the the uh, the algorithms results we are going to compare with the actual results so if both are positive then we can call as a true positive i mean the algorithm is detected as positive the original positive detected the 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 uh, the true positives true negative then false positive false negative this is uh, the different scores here this is the total number of uh, you know uh, 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 patients number of patients here then uh, this is the accuracy score which is 76 and this is the precision uh, recall then the f1 score so in the same way in the case of the random forest uh, we can see that uh, 75 is the uh, the accuracy score 63 63 and 63 so you can see the consistent value of a pn and f in the case of random forest adaboost 75 with 65 62 and 64 gradient boost is 79 65 69 and 67 bagging 76 61 64 and 62 boosting algorithm 54 6 36 35 and 35 cart algorithm 71 68 54 and 61 so these are the different score so from this um, table it is clear that the highest score or the highest accuracy is you know 79 with the gradient boost with a precision of 65 uh, the recall of 69 and you know and uh, the f1 score is like what 67 so the machine learning model uh, that is uh, uh, that can be used you know for the uh, prediction of uh, coronary or the cardiac heart diseases so uh, for several methods has been have been implemented and uh, one of such the, the best method out of all this implemented method is the gradient boost algorithm so again the score 79 percentage is not really good so it need you know further fine tuning and also the model uh, model selection the best model selection the hyper uh, parameter tuning uh, then this has to be applied up, you know applied so that you can uh, improve the efficiency or the accuracy of the efficiencies to the further 
so this is basically a preliminary work and uh, this will tell you uh, this will uh, try to explain how the uh, machine learning algorithm that can be used for the the detection or the prediction of cardiac or the coronary heart disease CHD. Thank you.